Okay, hello. I'm Dakota, and today we're going to be talking about UPC codes. UPC codes are also known as universal product codes, and when you look at a product, they are the barcode symbol that you see that is scanned by the computer. So, they're basically, they were invented by the Uniform Code Council to make it easier when you're shopping. Instead of having someone have to sit there and type in into the computer or write it down something, this little code here makes it known what you're buying, how much it costs, um, yeah, what you're buying and how much it costs just by scanning it. And they're composed of 12 digits, which we can see, and a number of lines, black and white spaces, all that fun stuff, that are readable by the computer. And they may kind of seem random, but they're not. There is a system to it. They're codes, which codes involve math. Remember on that last slide there was a debug picture, which we're going to go back to and look at in just a minute. You see the little bars on the left. So these left codes and this right code. We're going to talk about those right now. Find the littlest bar on, your close, on the closest barcode that you've got. That is one unit wide. So on the left and the right, you've got one black unit, a space, and then another black one. That's one, one, one. And every single barcode will start and end with this. So there's a system to how this is made, and it's all these different numbers here, the different digits, are all used by these different units. So three units minus two, um, three units, and then two units, and then one unit, and then one unit is zero. And then two units, two units, two units, one unit is zero. Or one. Two units, one unit, two unit, two units is a two. And so on and so forth. They've all got their own little codes. So now we're going to talk about check digits, which are basically the way the computer makes sure that they've been scanned the item correctly. So what is a check digit? This number right here on the end is the check digit. And to find the check digit, you will take all the values of the numbers in the odd position, so 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, and 11, and multiply that by 3. And then you toss it to the side, remember it for later. You add together the value of the even positions, and so 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and 12, multiply that by 3, and add it to the number you just set aside. And you're going to take that final number after multiplying or adding them together, and determine a number that when added to that is a multiple of 10. So if we we added our two multiples together, you got 112, then you'd want to find a number that gets you 120. That number that you found would be your check digit. So if we're using the 112 to get us to 120, we would want the number 8. Okay, so there's a system to all of this. So let's look back at our debugged code, and we see the manufacturer code and the product code. Every manufacturer has a code. So Coke has their own code, Pepsi has their own code, that frozen pizza company has their own code. Everyone has a different code and every product has a different code. So pepperoni pizza has a different code than combination pizza. 2 liter Cokes have a different code than 20 ounce Cokes. 12 pack Cokes have a different code than 24 pack Cokes. It's Every single product that is on the line has a different code. There's one person, well I'm probably pretty sure there's more than one person, but there are people in charge of setting these codes and they're called the UPC coordinator. They're also in charge of retiring the codes when the products are taken off the market. So they just sit there and they are in charge of making sure that every single product has a different code. No codes are made twice. They sit there and they do the math probably for hours a day. Seems like a pretty fun job. So yeah, there we have it.